Hey guys, JJ here, and today I have a possible Resident Evil 2 remake leak that lets us know when we'll see some news on it and what camera angle it will be in. Now, you may ask yourself, is the source of this leak credible? The answer is yes, for reasons I'll explain further in the video. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Resident Evil 2 Reddit user Das Vergaben recently made a post on Reddit claiming to have inside information on many upcoming titles, including the Resident Evil 2 remake. He claimed to have inside sources, including developers, but when asked who his sources were, he obviously replied that he was unable to give out that information because it would ruin any chances he had of further leaks. Now this sounds like your typical internet user claiming to know a guy, right? Well, not necessarily, because Das actually has credibility. Prior to the announcement, he posted that the the upcoming fighters for Injustice 2 Pack 3 will be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Enchantress. While many didn't believe him, the new fighters were announced and Das was in fact correct. Now, that doesn't mean you have to believe what he has to say about the Resident Evil 2 remake, but just know that there is a possibility he's not bullshitting. This is what he had to say about the Resident Evil 2 remake. It's a third person game. You should finally see something from it next year if they don't put something out around the very end of this year, but I'm hearing next year. While we knew we would most likely see news of the remake sometime after the promotion for Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition and the Revelation series coming to the Nintendo Switch, this does tell us that the game has not been cancelled and is still coming sometime soon. There's a chance we could see something on the Resident Evil 2 remake this year at PlayStation Experience which is held in December. The big takeaway from this leak is that he said it will be a third person game. Now, before you punch a hole in your computer screen or throw your phone at the wall, we have to keep in mind third person doesn't necessarily mean over the shoulder. Technically, fixed angles is third person as well, although the saying third person is a heavy indicator of over the shoulder. One thing for certain is, if this leak is true, it won't be in first person. Sure, many people, including myself, hope that the remake would stay true to the classic and remain a fixed angle experience, but an over the shoulder experience does mean that the game will be fully recreated in a 3D environment, which means there may in fact be an option to switch the game into a fixed perspective as seen in Resident Evil 5 Lost in Nightmare DLC. Adding an over-the-shoulder perspective to the game does raise some questions. Sure, it would be nice to switch to a classic fixed angle experience, but would the game be balanced for both perspectives? What I mean by that is the behind-the-back camera perspective gives the player an incredible advantage in accuracy, lending to more consistent kill shots, making the game far more easy than playing it from a fixed perspective. This would then remove a lot of tension the game has to offer, and would in return limit the amount of accomplishment a player felt after completing a difficult altercation. So this would mean the game would need to be balanced accordingly to make sure it retained a consistent level of struggle and reward. There are many ways to make this possible, one of those being adding more enemies. If it's easier to get a headshot on a zombie and put it down instantly, adding more zombies to an area would counteract this. Another way would be to increase the amount of health an enemy has. Some would call this bullet sponges. In order for an over the shoulder perspective to work, the game would need to take a little bit of both. More enemies would have to be added and the health of these enemies would need to be increased. Picture the enemies from Resident Evil 4. Now, I'm not completely opposed to the idea of an over the shoulder Resident Evil 2 remake because if I don't like it, I can always go back and play the original. I would just prefer a fixed angle experience similar to the Resident Evil 1 remake that in my opinion was the best made Resident Evil game. But I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on this leak? Are you ecstatic for a possible over the shoulder Resident Evil 2 to remake or are you furious it may not be fixed angles like the classic maybe you think this leak is complete bullshit either way i want to know so let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and for more resident evil content like this be sure to subscribe i want to let everybody know gunshop kendo shirts are now available in the residents of evil red bubble store if you want to pick one up for yourself and show off your favorite gun store check it out link will be down in the description Thank you to all of our patrons for helping support the residents of evil. If you would like to become a row patron and have your name displayed here in the credits or unlock some other really cool perks, head over to patreon.com slash row network. Thanks as always for watching guys and I hope to see you back at the residents of evil.